Breaking tonight, new fallout from a rocky week for Hillary Clinton. From reports of an ongoing FBI probe into the Clinton family charity to revelations that investigators are going through newly discovered emails from her private server. Our next guest is a longtime loyal and supporter who, as early as March 2015, urged her campaign to release much of the information that's still trickling out. Here's Lanny Davis on Fox News Sunday saying Hillary Clinton should open her private server to independent review. There can be a neutral party to review all these records. Nothing unlawful. You, you'd like to have a neutral party? I said there can be the State I, Department. Obviously, there can be. I the, understand that. I'm the, asking you, do you think that's a reasonable idea? I think it is a reasonable idea. If anybody has any doubts that there's a delete on a hard drive, I think to, Governor to have To have an independent force that. go inspect her private email. I think there's, that is a reasonable idea. If the State Department asks, she will say yes. If there's a subpoena, she must say yes. Mm -hmm. Well, that interview set off alarm bells inside Clinton world. Leaked campaign emails show one top advisor writing, quote, we got to zap Lanny out of our universe <laughs> for Lanny. <laughs> We're talking with both campaigns tonight, and in a moment we'll be joined by Donald Trump surrogate, Mayor Julie, Rudy Giuliani. But we begin with Lanny Davis, former special counsel to former President Bill Clinton. Lanny, well, that wasn't nice. They wanted to zap you to outer space just for wanting a full <laughs> vetting of the email issue. What's your well, take on it? First of all, this is a great friend of mine, and uh, we've talked since the publication of the word zap. I said <laughs> if, in the part of that sentence, which I was able to correct next time I was on Chris Wallace, I said only if the State Department asked for the official business emails, of course, she had already turned them over, okay. and a neutral party could verify, or if there was a subpoena. But the headline that went out skipped the ifs. But and, what about the uh, fact that as you look back... And I it, would it zap made, myself if I hadn't said but if. It, but it made clear, like, when I looked at your emails, this is thanks to the WikiLeaks revelations, Russia, bad, we got it. Um, <laughs> there, there's, there's, a, there's one on August 27, 2015. We're going to get to some other stuff in a second. But you, you said something about, I still believe the issue of the wiping out of the private server still needs to be dealt with. You literally wrote the book on crisis management. If they had just listened to you, Lanny, months and months ago, and just put it all out there, do you think she would be in the position she's in today? I think she would be in the position she's in today, uh, probably with less pain, because she's ahead and she's going to win. I'd rather be Hillary Clinton she's tonight than Donald point. Trump. But the point I was making, which she has made, she made a mistake. She's apologized. And Donald Trump did not apologize to a gold star mother, and she, he didn't apologize to the women that he bragged about sexually assaulting. So Hillary Clinton did say, I made a mistake and I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. And my philosophy would have been, get those emails out into the public domain as early as possible because well, we there's think, nothing, we hear the there's Kelly nothing Paul there. As we you, now know, there was nothing there. You were brilliant. You were prescient because not only were you pushing for her to be fully, you know, to give full disclosure, but... August 27, 2015, this is right after the first Republican presidential debate, you wrote to, to Podesta, her champagne chairman, I propose that the secretary be on the Megyn Kelly file, close enough, show for at least 30 minutes. I know what I'm about to propose is very risky and will be instinctively viewed negatively, which you were probably right about that. I propose that the secretary be on this show for at least 30 minutes. In fact, I believe it's in the interest of Secretary Clinton as well as Fox for the questions to be tough, something we should not fear as long as she has an opportunity to answer. It will, has the potential to be a ratings and media bonanza. And like a bunch of dopes, they rejected your advice. Well, first of all, you are tough, but you always let me answer your questions. And that's why I thought it was a great idea. I have never seen Hillary Clinton unfiltered, talking, answering questions, tough questions for Megyn Kelly or Chris Wallace during the debate, where she didn't do well. And that's why she beat Donald Trump in three debates. Hillary Clinton unfiltered is funny, likable, articulate, focused on issues. She would have done great on your show, and you would have asked her tough questions about the emails, mm -hmm. the server, and everything else, and she would have done great and hit home runs, in my opinion, every question you asked. I, you know what? I, I've always said, listen, she could handle me. Uh, For but sure. the, the bottom line <laughs> is, honestly, she was too chicken to come on. That's the no, truth. I, you know, no, I, I asked I, her for months and months and months through everybody possible. Why else would she be here? You cannot call Hillary Clinton, who's been pounded I, and I can. dealt on the I mat think if anybody and gets in the back up and it, fights me. again. But I, I, I think at that point, there was a more conservative approach, and she since has said, I made a mistake on these emails, and I'm sorry. Yeah. And I really do She made a mistake not confident. sitting down with me, too. 
I mean, she we're, may we're, she may win on Tuesday, but it was still a mistake because she's trying to paint herself as some champion of women. And what does she do? She doesn't even sit down with one of the top female journalists in the country, at least, and certainly here on the Fox News Channel, one of the only two women in all of primetime on cable news, pretended that we didn't exist, told us over and over again, wait until the general, wait until the general, wait until this, wait until that, never came. That's the truth. I have even to Trump, ask you a question. Even Trump, who was very unhappy about that debate, wound up sitting down with me and giving me a long interview. Hillary, never. I'll give you the last word. I have to ask you a question. Yeah. Would you be proud of that email where I recommended that she be on your show if I said, listen, Megan is a soft touch. You ought to do no, it. No, I, I, I wouldn't. I would you wouldn't. You call and you up and the yell reason you and I said, wanted her huh? to do it is because you would have asked her tough questions, but then I you would have given that. her a chance to uh, Let's leave it on the happy note about me. And, <laughs> <laughs> Lanny, good to see you. Take Sorry, care. Hillary, but I have to guilt her a little. I mean, come on. What the heck?